it's an ongoing war and we don't know what for. For Chantel Brown, the statistics are more than just numbers. Within 12 short hours across Chicago, 14 people were wounded, two people killed, one of them being Brown's oldest child. I'm just going to miss her presence. She was a very, very beautiful, well-known, like, lovely girl. 17-year-old Jakaira Barnes loved basketball, her friends, and being with family. I love her, and I'm going to fight for her to have justice because I don't think it's fair that we're losing our kids being gunned down every day in the streets. It's still under investigation what exactly happened Friday afternoon in the 6400 block of South Eberhardt, but neighbors say Barnes and a friend were walking along the sidewalk when a gunman started firing. When the bullet hit, it was so powerful, she fell on the steps. Residents who do not want to be identified say Barnes fought to live but had been shot at least nine times. In the jaw, in the neck, and in the chest, and in the leg. Mm -hmm. Nine times they say it. Barnes was transported to Northwestern where she died, and tragically for this neighborhood, it wasn't the first child lost to gunfire. I wanted to cry because I had two children that had been murdered, so I know how that mother feel. Jakaira's mother and several other organizations have collectively put together a $10,000 reward for the person who brings forward the information that leads to an arrest and a conviction. This case is ongoing. No one is in custody as of yet. From Woodlawn, I'm Emily Flores, NBC5 News.